What's up everybody, Mr. Martin here, just to give you a quick lesson on how to make the stack that's going to go on the top of our toy train. Uh, so far we've made the body and the wheel, the stack is the thing where the steam usually comes out on a steam engine. Um, it is really simple, um, it's just a simple sketch and then a revolve. I tried making it a few different ways in on shape, and I have found that this is by far the easiest, me easiest method. Uh, so we're just going to make a sketch on our front plane. And then it's just going to be a series of lines that we're going to have to make. Um, so just follow along and you'll be good to go. So we'll do a vertical line that is 0.25 inches, a horizontal line that is 0.188 inches, a vertical line here that is one and a quarter inches. Then we're going to go over a distance I don't have written down, so we're just gonna hit escape. All right, and now we're gonna go from the bottom and we'll go sideways, um, where this will be a quarter inch, and then up, so that it is, um, this is gonna be a quarter inch as well. So 0.25 inches, and then we're gonna go, well, that's over constrained. Let's see, that's fine. Um, then we're going to draw a line starting here and ending up here. Um, and we're going to dimension this a couple different ways. The first way is we're going to dimension the angle between these two lines, and that's going to be, um, sorry, not the angle between those two lines. Let's see, do that. We'll do the angle between this line and the horizontal axis is going to be 73 degrees. And then the height of this line, like the, not the length of it, but the actual height of it is going to be 1.25 inches. So that's good from there. We're now going to make another line. This is going to be at an angle of um, 15 degrees. So we're just going to draw the line. And then we're going to make a construction line. So we're going to use the construction option, then make a line, and then we're going to make a vertical construction line. And we're just going to use this to help um, guide our angle measurement. So this angle between the line we created and the construction line is going to be 15 degrees. And we're going to say that this line has a height of 0.25 inches. All right, next line we're going to make, it's going to be horizontal and it's gonna be 0.1 inches. Then we're gonna go down a quarter inch and then across to connect everything. So now we have our shape. Um, it's kind of ugly just because of all the dimensions that we have here. Not a lot we can do about it. And it also doesn't matter uh, because we're gonna revolve it and it won't show up on our actual part. So you can go ahead and click finish sketch go back to an isometric view and we're going to click revolve. We're going to uh, use this whole face and then our revolve axis is going to be this line down here. And that makes our stack. So this is going to place in uh, nicely into the top of the train that we made. Um, if you wanted to, you know, see it a little bit better. It's a, it has a hole that doesn't go through all the way. Um, and then it also has, you know, this area up here um, as a whole as well. And it's angled and chamfered and lofted and all, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, we're going to assign the material as PLA again. And then pull up our mass properties to make sure that everything looks how we want it to. So do that. Mass properties, take your picture. Uh, you should have a volume of about 0.834 cubic inches. All right, that's it for the train stack. Hopefully this is helpful as always. Uh, let me know if you have questions and I will talk to you soon.